to ensure that all EFB users have an understanding of the controls on the Personal Electronic Device, or PED, used in the EFB program, we've provided this quick review of iPad control features found on the device used in this sample program. Keep in mind that some versions of the iPad, such as the latest iPad Air and iPad Pro, will differ from the version we illustrate here. There are only four buttons located on the iPad devices used in this EFB program. The button located on the top of the device is the power button. This button can perform several functions. Pressing and holding the button when the unit is unpowered will turn the device on. Pressing and holding the button with the unit in a powered state brings up a slide switch icon on the screen, which is used to power down the unit. If the unit is powered on, you press the same button momentarily to put the unit to sleep. And while it's in the sleep state, you can momentarily press this button to wake the unit up. The home button is located below the screen on the front. The home button returns you to the home page when using the iPad, and it can also be pressed to wake the unit from the sleep state. Care should be taken to not touch this button while the Garmin Pilot EFB application is displayed as that will remove the EFB application from view. Touching the Garmin Pilot icon on the home screen will bring the application back into view. The volume up and down buttons are located on the right side of the unit, and as you might expect, they're used to adjust the volume of the device. Since no sounds are used in the EFB program, the state of the volume setting does not affect use of the EFB application. The power port for these devices is located below the home button on the edge of the bezel. The port is referred to as a lightning power port and requires a power cable with a lightning power plug. These must be installed in the aircraft and the power plug must remain inserted into the port when not actively in use. This will ensure adequate power is available while the unit is being used to select and display charts. The screen of the iPad is a 10.2 inch LED backlit high resolution touchscreen that makes it easy to read maps and charts. The brightness of the screen can be set to automatically adjust to ambient light conditions. Selection of an application is done by touching the icon for the application. Touching menu items and icons within the application provides for selecting features. Touching a finger to the screen and then sliding provides for moving things such as a moving map within the EFB application. Pinching provides for zooming out and touching the screen with two fingers and then moving your fingers apart provides for zooming in. The iPad devices are housed in a protective housing that helps to reduce damage to the devices during use and when stored. Opening the cover of these housings turns the screen on and closing the cover shuts the screen off. Okay, that's it for general operation and control of the iPad devices used in this EFB program. In our next video, we'll explore the icons and symbols used in Garmin Pilot.